Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm not kidding when I say the weirdest thing in my entire life just happened to me. <laughs> All right, you know what time it is. It is time to bang a bull. Oh, are you drinking oh. Red Bull? It's like 9.15 on Sunday Because uh, sometimes in life, man, you just gotta get turned up for no reason. You know what I mean? Dude, are you staying here again tonight? No. <laughs> Whoa, wait, wait, what? Oh, man, that sucks. I was what you were saying. Did you say thank God when, you, when I said that I wasn't saying <laughs> What was that, bro? What was that, bro? Dude, do you know I'm filming right now? <laughs> A little weird, a little suspect. Time to bang a bull for real this time. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you call... I'm so sorry. I'll clean it up. And you call yourself a frat star. Yeah, <laughs> a frat star. It overflowed, man. Guys, is this normal? This machine is literally driving itself. What the heck? Somebody's fired. What if we just see some, some dude? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, hey, turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> Good morning vlog. I live in Kentucky and we have had a cold pass or something. What do you call those? A cold front. We've had a cold front pass, that's what I meant to say. And it is so freaking cold here. But today's a good day. So today I'm picking up my little brother Logan from preschool. He is obsessed with my car, but since it's a two seater, he can't sit up front. My mom told me today that I could drive him back home because his preschool is really, really close to our house and it's just like little neighborhood roads to get there. So he doesn't know that I'm picking him up, but he's gonna be extremely excited because he's never got to ride in my Corvette before other than just our um, neighborhood. <laughs> What's up, bro? How's it going, dude? Get some car we get to ride in. The Corvette. <laughs> we get to ride home for the first time in the Corvette. How's school? Good. Make any friends? He's gonna be extremely excited. I call that car family. You're a weirdo. Wait, don't run, don't run. My mom specifically told me, do not go fast with Logan. But what'd we do? Go fast? <laughs> <laughs> the reason we're not going fast is <laughs> Go on this big hill. Go fast on this Got real calm right there. Let's go do trip away. That's not a bad idea. Now you're speaking my language. You're speaking my language. Speaking my language. You're speaking my language. Is that fun? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just dropped off Logan. Now it's time to go work out and wash my car. And this is where my day started getting a little bit weird. All right, so I'm here cleaning my car at a car wash, and this older lady pulled up beside me, and I thought she was joking, but she said, how much do you charge for a ride? And I thought she was joking, so I was like, ah, oh, they're free or something like that. She said, oh, okay. She said, I'll sit here and wait for you to get done cleaning your car so you can give me a ride. And I was like, Wait, is she joking? But now she's actually sitting there, right there, <laughs> waiting for me to clean my car. And I think she thought I was serious. Yeah, she definitely thought I was serious and things got really weird when I saw her walking around my car and getting in the passenger side without saying a word to me. At this point, I had to give her a ride because she was already sitting in my car. So it was obvious that she was I'm not, not kidding. kidding. Okay, I can't believe I quit taping. What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't think that she was going to think I was serious. Like, I was sitting there vacuuming my car. It's just fun to me just to drive slow in a yeah. car this nice with a guy as cute as you. <laughs> <laughs> you made my day. Oh, good. The weirdest part 
Like it was okay or whatever, somewhat playful flirty. And then she told me her name and then she jokingly said she should get my number. Yeah. I'm Belinda. Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Belinda. <laughs> And your phone number is? <laughs> <laughs> and I tried to avoid it. <laughs> yeah, I'm from here. And then she doubled down on her confidence and asked again and said, no, really, I should get your number just in case you want to ride around sometime when I'm back in town. I really should get your number just in case I'm back down here and you're on your okay. around. Yeah, sure. Okay. You ready? Yep. All right, 270. I'll text you later. All right. As if I would hit her up to go ride around my hometown with a 60 year old woman. And again, I have a problem saying no. And so I gave her my number, my real number. I could have gave her a fake number, but for some reason I felt compelled to give her my real number. And I think it was just because I didn't want her to get like sad if like she tried to text me and it was like, this is not a valid number. I don't know. And she has texted me since I've left. She said, hey, thanks so much. And then she asked if I can sing because her sister has a recording studio or something. Anyways, all that was you know, weird, but it wasn't terrible. And then she tells me she would pay me to go on a trip with her to Florida. If you'll go. <laughs> to Florida? Yeah, I'll, I'll, wherever. You guys know he's hot. <laughs> and I was like, wait a second, <laughs> this is kind of going in a weird direction. And then she said, I'll be your sugar mama. And I was like, oh gosh, okay. Uh, I'll be your sugar mama. <laughs> <laughs> and then out of nowhere, she starts filming me in my face again with her phone and says, he agreed to wear a Speedo. Now it turns out we're going to Florida. <laughs> yeah, he anyway. promised to wear a Speedo for me too. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Did she just say Speedo? Oh my gosh, she's actually hitting on me. She's going in for the kill. This is getting weird. Mm -hmm. I didn't promise a Speedo. Oh, okay, good thing I cut it off. <laughs> in my mind, I was like, what? The confidence this woman had to not only film me with her phone in my face, but then also say that I'm gonna wear a Speedo. It's obviously super weird. I mean, ultimately a large flex to whoever she was sending it to, because she just randomly hopped in a car with a guy that's a third of her age, <laughs> then somehow says at the end of the car ride, five minutes later, that we're going on a trip to Florida and I'm gonna wear a Speedo the whole time. But I will say, Belinda, your confidence is unmatched and I appreciate that. <laughs> You're just driving around and one to... Yeah, I, I come down here a lot. Never got this lucky, though. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. I said, you wouldn't have had to done all that. You could have been in an old beater and I would have wanted to ride with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate You're it. You're just That's too kind. cute. You're too cute. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. I appreciate you taking Yeah, no problem. Ride. It's hard. It's, it's, get... it's that button right okay. there. Yeah. Oh, I still feel, like, violated. And she didn't even do anything weird. It just, like... I don't know when somebody's like in your in your space like in your own car I think it's different if somebody does that out in public but when they're in your own car freaking two-seater car <laughs> anyways uh that concludes today's story time let me know when you're ready to go to florida all right just text me i'll get the speed already <laughs>